Hello and welcome to the OTB channel, which stands for Old Tech Bloke. For those of you who have been following my series where I've been setting up uh, an Intel NUC for YouTube video production, I said that this next video would be just a short episode where I'm going to look at improving the Logitech C920 webcam that I've got. It's not that the camera is bad, it isn't. For what it is, and in terms of cost, it's great to get started on YouTube anyway. However, it doesn't really work as it should. In Windows, it's brilliant. In Linux, unfortunately, it tends to be quite laggy. It drops frames, and quite often I found that my audio and video go out of sync. So, how do we go about fixing it? This is what this quick video is going to be about. So before we go any further, let's have a quick look at the quality of image that uh, the C920 produces in Windows 10 and also Ubuntu Mate. The two snapshots that you see in front of you, uh, the left hand one was a screenshot grab in Windows 10 the right hand one was the same thing but in Ubuntu Mate. There's not a huge amount of difference between them. In fact, if anything, the one on the right, the one that was snapped in Linux, is slightly clearer, uh, less interference on, on the image. So, image quality, about the same. Unfortunately, that's where it stops. The webcam works very smoothly in Windows 10. None of the controls have to be disabled. Auto focus works wonderfully. And that's where the problem is. It doesn't work wonderfully in Linux. So a few tweaks have to be made to the configuration of the camera to ensure it works just as well in Linux as it does on Windows. So I was a bit frustrated to start off with uh, and I hit Google and the first thing that came up was uh, a page that Chris Titus Tech uh, had published on his blog. He's also got a video attached to it. Uh, I'll leave uh, a link to his page in my comments. And what he essentially says is install video for Linux uh, utilities. So it's the V4L-Utils package and then disable the autofocus using the command line and also make some changes to the automatic exposure setting. So I followed along and let's do that now. So based on what Chris suggested, uh, I installed the uh, V4L package and followed along. You should see my terminal up in front of you. And I ran the first command, the v4l2-control list devices command. And this was the output. I have a video zero and a video one there. The next stage was to find out what controls the camera actually has. And Chris usefully provides the full command there I've changed it to video zero. I think it was video six uh, in his video. But there you go. There are all of the controls that I can manipulate with the video for Linux driver and utilities in Ubuntu uh, Mate. So how do I go about doing this? Well, the easiest way is to create a script. And I'm going to do that now. So if I just CD to my desktop and open Nano and call it fixcam, whoops, fixcam.sh, the same as he has. And then I'm going to paste in the commands. Now, you'll see that the first two commands are exactly what Chris used. Uh, he's dropped the exposure to the lowest level and he's disabled autofocus. 
What I also wanted was to switch off the blue LED. It was tending to shine on my glasses and it was distracting. So they're the three commands that you could run individually, but I've put them in a little script. Uh, you can see that, uh, the bin bash shebang at the top. All you need to do is to save that, make it executable and uh, run it. Uh, easy to do, I'm in nano now, I'm just gonna save that, exit it. You can see the fixed cam SH there, it's not currently got uh, the X flag on it. So I'm just gonna use chmod plus X, oops, plus X, fixed cam. Dead straightforward. I can now run that very simply by simply tapping sh fixed cam. Job done. You can also do this though in a GUI. You don't have to do it on the command line and I discovered that after installing a few different programs and I found that the best one was something called GUVC View or GUVC View, which is a graphical front end to the video for Linux utilities. I've had to shut down OBS uh, to launch this program, uh, GUVC View. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, it's a bit of a mouthful, um, because only uh, one program that uses the webcam can be used at a time. So I'm using Simple Screen Recorder and uh, I'll probably import it into OBS and do it that way. But you can see in its default configuration, um, the GUI opens with all the different settings and you also get, um, it grabs uh, a shot of what the webcam's looking for, which is me. Um, <laughs> I'm looking at here. Um, you can see here that uh, the things that we've already disabled, uh, autofocus is unticked, the LED is down to off, and the exposure is on manual mode rather than aperture priority mode. And that seems to have fixed a lot of problems. It's no longer freezing on me, it's no longer dropping frames, and uh, the GUI in particular has been quite useful because the light is always changing in, in this room. You can see that I've got blinds here, uh, which isn't ideal. Um, so I'm often having to come in and up the brightness or the contrast. Um, and the GUI is great for that. You do need to do this before you launch OBS. Um, and unfortunately, although the settings uh, will stick for the remainder of your session, once you reboot, they're all gone again. Usefully, however, you can save a profile, which saves a little file uh, wherever you want it to be saved. And when you next reboot, you can open up that file and restore all the settings. It works great. And that's the end of episode four in this series of configuring a Linux desktop, an Intel NUC, uh, for YouTube video production. Hope you found it useful. The next episode, which hopefully will be produced this weekend, but I'm going to have to see how time goes, will probably be the final episode in this, ser this series. And I'm going to be looking at uh, how I chop and piece together the various bits. Stay well in the meantime. Thank you.